Good morning. I'm Lynn Peterson with Holy Trinity Lutheran Church, and I'm here to do a summary of our Sunday School lesson today, February 20th, 2022. We have family Sunday School, and we all meet in a room with the families, and we are socially distanced, and we wear masks. So you are always welcome to come to Holy Trinity Every Sunday at 9.40 a.m., we're done around 10.15, sometimes 10.10. Hope you can make it. Our lesson this week is from the Old Testament, and it's about stewardship. So we're going to learn about that in just a minute. First, we're going to do our prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for loving us, for giving us forever. And all God's children say, Amen. Very good. Last week we talked about respecting parents. Did anybody do anything that respected a parent this last week? We had one kid that made dinner for their family. We had some other kids clean up the basement. Woohoo! All right. This week we're talking about a guy in the Old Testament named Nehemiah. And it's in Nehemiah chapter 2. And it goes through chapter 6. So it's lots of chapters, and I'm not going to sit here and read the whole Bible to you. <laughs> but in summary, Nehemiah was praying to God in the Bible, and he prayed to God to come up with a plan for how he could rebuild the wall that was broken down for many hundred years um, in his old hometown of Jerusalem. <clears throat> he had moved to a different country um, but he wanted to go back and he wanted to fix this wall because it was really making him feel sad. So he talked to his king of his current country and got permission and got letters sent to the government of the place that he was going to um, and the surrounding areas to provide protection for him so that he could rebuild this wall. Because it wasn't always safe to travel, I guess, back then. So that got done and he went and he looked at the wall and saw that it was just a pile of rubble and then he sat down and he prayed for God to help him and to give him guidance so that he could make a healthy safe wall and to um, keep safe himself while he was building the wall and they made it out of just clay you know sticks and stones and mud is what they built the wall with and he went at first and he looked at it at nighttime to see what needed to be done. And then he asked the people from Judea and Jerusalem to help him to build it. And they did it. And it wasn't safe because there was people trying to kill them because they were opposed to the wall. And so he split up his group of people into two groups and had some of them be the protector people and some of them be the builder people. Um, and they got the whole wall done in 52 days which was just a miracle. And even the people that were against them were able to say, yeah, God helped these people. God definitely was there to help them and support them. And God is real. And so that was a major um, miracle back then. So that was a cool thing that happened. Um, we talked about different things in our current life. We talked about if there was a time when you were with someone that they made you feel special just by spending time with them, that in relation to how we can just spend time with God, we spent a whole minute in silence praying to God. And did you, and just talking to God, I mean, like we talked about how it doesn't have to be all fancy, but that all of us have 1,440 minutes each day. All of us are given the same amount of minutes each day. And we spent one of those minutes just quiet and thinking about God. You can thank God. You can ask God for something that you need. Um, with one of our groups, we had them stand on one foot for one minute and think about God at the same time. It goes really fast. And it can be done anytime during your day, like in the car, when you're in the restroom, anytime you can spend time thinking about God <clears throat> and God will listen. We also did another um, little talk. We have these, these handouts. It's just a, a bunch of bricks 
and we said, you know, fill in the bricks with things that you could do that would be um, serving God, that would show that you are giving your time to God. <clears throat> I could put down teaching Sunday school. You know, that's a, just an example. Um, teaching kids at school. Um, you could put down hugging mom, hugging dad, calling grandma on the phone, writing a thank you note. These are things that that are kind that you are doing to respect God. Okay. We also did another one where we said, okay, what do you, how do you spend your day? Well, you're spending your time right here in Sunday school. Make that into one ball. Um, you go to school. That's another big part of your day. Do you play a sport or an instrument? This could be a sport. How about video games? I know you do. <laughs> okay, that could be another one. Um, eating, that's another thing that we do every day, hopefully, right? Okay, let's do them all at the same time. Juggle them. Can you guys juggle them with me? What, you can't? Come on, how about five things all at once? Do them all together. No? Okay, how about, how about three? Can you do three? Woo, almost. No, not really, okay. How about two? This is how I juggle two. <laughs> I know, the kids in class laugh too. The point of that is you can't do all five things at once, but you can do one thing first before you do all those things. Those things are important. But before we eat, we can say thank you to God. Before we go to piano lessons, we could say, help me to do my best to my ability. We could say on the way to school, Help me to stay calm when the teacher gives me homework. I don't know if that bothers you or not, but it bothers some kids. Um, you could just say, God, be with me today. Help me to have a positive attitude today. Another thing that we did, we had, we made a stop sign and we colored it in red. And then we stared at the red stop sign for like a minute and then closed our eyes. The red stop sign means things that stop us from being close to God, like video games. If you don't think about God when you're doing video games, that might be keeping you away from God. And then when you stare at that for like a minute and then close your eyes, and then on the inside of your lid of your eye, it's supposed to be like a green circle or a green stop sign. And that means go. Go means please remember to have God in your life. Please remember to thank God for being there for you. Nehemiah didn't stop when God wanted him to build the wall because he didn't focus on the things that would stop him. He focused on what we can do. Okay. We also talk, handed out a little take home folder, and then we close with a prayer. Here's the prayer. Dear God, help us to be wise in how we use our time that you have given us. Help us to use our time for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.